guys, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be having my current group of rats try the bubble wrap challenge, which is basically just seeing how do they react to bubble wrap, and do they like to walk on it, or are they kind of nervous around it, or just what do they think of it? So this is going to be this group's first time dealing with bubble wrap, and if you're wondering why they are in the small travel cage, that's because this group does not get along in the main cage. So when I do free range currently, I put them in the travel cage where they get along, uh, and then I let them play in the free range area where they also get along, and then when we're done, they go back in the travel cage until I clean up, and then I put them back in their respective cages. So that's why this is set up a little bit differently than my usual challenges, which usually have the main cage open. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to go ahead and get started here because the rats are very excited for free range. Okay, let's see what they think. Oh, oh, bananas go. Oh, banana has zero cares. Oh, <laughs> are they going to try to bite it? Wow, they don't mind at all. I really thought that some of them were going to have problems with it. Okay, well, maybe omelet and egg. No, no, not really. Okay, what about the dwarves? Now I'm kind of curious about them because they seem a little bit more intrigued by it. Butter and toast, what do you guys think? Yeah, they don't seem to mind too much. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more like the aluminum foil where they were pretty freaked out by it because this does crinkle just like the aluminum foil, but they don't seem to mind at all. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. This video is like 30 seconds long. Oh, well, I guess Omelette's going to chew up the bubble wrap for me. Uh, now, this bubble wrap is the larger kind, of course, so it's a little bit different. Oh my god, they're all walking on it now. <laughs> Well, okay, I think we can say they're not afraid of it. I mean, I thought at least Toast, which is the more nervous dwarf girl right here, would be a little bit nervous around it, but no, she's not nervous at all, and everyone else is just destroying it. Like, why didn't I just make this video rats destroying bubble wrap ASMR? Because they are destroying it. Uh, don't worry, guys, they are not eating it. Rats are really good about not eating plasticky stuff unless it's actually food flavored, which it's not. So they are not actually trying to consume it. They're just biting it because, well, I guess it feels weird to them. And Omelette left a whole trail of destruction over here. Uh, you can see that they're actually all after these treats, which I have on the other area. And I had these here because I thought that maybe they'd be freaked out by the bubble wrap, but uh, turns out that's not actually an issue. <laughs> they have absolutely no problem with it at all. Darn it, it's over here. Darn it, right over here. <laughs> wow, they really don't care. I mean, at most they wanted to just destroy it, but honestly, I thought they were going to be more freaked out by it, and they seemed completely fine. So this actually makes me kind of curious about the other challenges I'm going to do with them. I really hope you could hear this. Uh, and that's the invisible fence challenge, which is when I use some cling wrap to see if the rats, well, jump over it or go under it or what. I've had rats do pretty much all the things you can imagine, jump over it, go under it, go through it. Um, but I'm just curious how this group will react to that. And I'm also curious how they'll react to aluminum foil because that tends to scare rats the most. But the thing about this group of rats is they're actually all really confident. So I think this is my most confident rat group ever. So it's very interesting to see that they are not afraid at all of the bubble wrap. And so now I'm kind of curious to see, are they going to feel the same about aluminum foil? And are they going to feel the same about the cling wrap uh, or what? So I guess we will see how that goes. And in the meantime, the rats are trying to go crazy over these little cheese things now. Okay, guys, you want some cheese things? Oh my God, I spilled all the cheese things. No, 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 no. Don't eat all the cheese things. <laughs> Hey, hey, egg, egg, egg. Egg just tried to grab every single cheese thing. She just freaked out when I tried to grab it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, turns out the rats are just completely unbothered. Oh, I'm sorry, Toasty. I'll give you a cheese thing. Hi, Toasty. You want a cheese thing? Can you do a spin with the cheese thing? Can you spin for it? That was a very sad spin, Toasty Bean. Oh, she's just so cute. Look at her. Look at her. She's like, fine, I'll eat it here. Okay, so I think that this was, well, uh, both a failure and a success. It was not really an interesting video because, well, the rats were not really bothered by it and they weren't really interested in doing anything other than biting the bubbles and then eating treats, uh, which it sounds about normal for them, but it does make me intrigued to see how future challenges will go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the rats try something new and I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye.